Today is a uh, difficult day for me. The recordings that were referred to by Spencer Collier in his press conference were actually made two years ago. Since that time, I've apologized to members of my family, to Mrs. Mason and her family, and I apologize then to them for any conversations and behavior that was inappropriate. Today, I want to apologize to the people of the state of Alabama. And once again, I want to apologize to my family. I am truly sorry. And I accept full responsibility. I want everyone to know, though, that I have never had a physical affair with Mrs. Mason. I can assure the people of Alabama that as their governor, I have never done anything illegal. I have never asked any member of my staff or any cabinet member to lie, despite what the Aaliyah Secretary, former Aaliyah Secretary said today. And at no time have I ever used the resources of my office to facilitate a relationship of any type. In 2014, camp, when I was campaigning for governor, I leased an airplane to allow me to attend political functions. And it is wrong for the state airplane to be used for political purposes. And out of an abundance of caution, my campaign leased a plane. It has always been my honor and my privilege to serve the people of this state and to serve as their governor. As I've always tried to do, I'm going to continue to work hard for the people of this state and do the absolute best job that I can. I'm opening up for questions. Governor, you said you had no physical relationship with Ms. Mason. What you describe your relationship with Ms. Mason beyond the fact that she is your, your clearly your closest aide and confidant? Well, I think that's what she is. I, she is she is my closest aide, or one of my, one of my aides that is part of my leadership team. And she does an outstanding job. She has worked for me in various capacities. In fact, she has been with me uh, the entire time before I was, was elected governor. Uh, I have several members of my leadership team right now that have been with me that length of time. Uh, Zach Lee and Wesley Helton, as well as, and, and uh, Will Edwards has also, to a certain extent. But Governor, you don't make sexually explicit comments to them, I take it, and you did with her. I, I made a mistake. Two years ago, I made a mistake. I have rectified that, I have, I have dealt with that, and we have moved on. Did you only make a mistake when people were recording you? No. Governor, what specifically are you apologizing for if you did not have a physical relationship? What is what I'm apologizing? apologizing for? I'm apologizing for the things that I said. What do you say, Governor? Well, there whatever's been reported. So Sir, that is you, you on the tape. I haven't heard the tape. I have not heard the tape, so I don't know who is on the tape. But I'm just saying that I'm sure that I have at that time. We I said some inappropriate things and I know that I did that and so I'm just apologizing for that to her and I'm apologizing to my family and to the state of Alabama. Why would you make those statements if you were not involved in a physical relationship? Well I, that does not lead to that is not a physical relationship making those statements. Sir why should the people of Alabama trust you? Well the people of Alabama uh, have twice elected me and I have been totally honest with the people of Alabama and I'm being honest today. And I am only thing I'm asking the people of Alabama today to do is, as I say, stand before you and stand before the people of this state and say that I've made a mistake. I have made the mistake. And, and I'm just asking those that have been involved, including the people of this state, to forgive me. And, and I want to serve the people of this state because I truly believe that I was placed here for a purpose. And I'm going to fulfill that purpose. Governor, Governor is it your physical relationship? Is it a romantic relationship? And is that romantic relationship still ongoing? 
What do you mean a romantic relationship? Do you love Mrs. Mason? I, I love many members of my staff. In fact, all the members of my staff. Do I love more than I do others than I do, you know, some uh, more than others? Absolutely. Mr. Collier said today that you had, quote, admitted to him you were madly in love. Well, I don't think I've ever said that to Mr. Collier. Is that sir, accurate? You've trusted Collier for years since day one of your administration. Why shouldn't people believe what he's saying now? Why is there magically a different standard for him? Well, uh, what Mr. Collier is saying today is just not accurate and it's just not true. Governor, did the mistake that you say you made contribute to your divorce? I don't have any comment on that. Governor, have you said you said you apologized. any decisions in your administration, sir? Kim? Governor, you said you apologized to your family and Ms. Mason's family. I assume that was prior to the day that was in the past. I have apologized to my children. Uh, and and I'm, I'm apologizing again. But that was some time in the past. That yes. Today. yes. Can you describe what led to that apology? Were well, you, I, know, we, uh, you know, uh, Kim, we have been through a very difficult year. Uh, I have, and my ex-wife has, uh, and my children have, my grandchildren have, uh, and Mrs. Mason has, and her family. Uh, it's, it's not just one family. There have been a lot of people who have been hurt by all of this. And the entire state of Alabama has suffered during this time. And, and so I, I want us to, to start from this point on. We need to move forward, and we've tried to do that. And, and we've made great strides in that. Did they confront you with the tapes? Tape. Oh, I have known about the, I have known, I have been told about the possibilities of tapes for two years. I have never heard tapes. I have never seen tapes. But I have been told that for two years. But you know there, what but you know what you did, sir. Oh I, your, I, I know I know and why have you not until today voiced voiced an apology to publicly until today? Well first let me say I I have stated emphatically today that I have not had a physical relationship with Mrs. Mason. And at times in the past, have I said things that I should not have said? Absolutely, and that's what I'm saying today. Governor, were these comments, were they an isolated incident, or were they, did they take place over a longer period of time? How long was this inappropriate communication lasting for? Uh, I really, it, it was a period of time, I really can't say exactly the length of time, but it, it, it was over, I, you know, I, I don't want to say a period of months, I'm not going to say that because I, I'm, just, I, I'm just saying that it, it was a period of time in my life that, that, I, that I have made inappropriate comments. Did, she, and, did she ask you to stop? Did Ms. Mason ask you to stop? No. Governor, there's a portion of that recording in which you were heard saying, I like to walk up behind you and touch you and put my hand on your breast. How would you say that if you were not involved in the political events? Well, I, what I'm saying is there was no sexual activity. Okay, Governor, have you time for one more question, one Karen? Thank you, You've always called as one of the most trusted and liked public officials. How do you move forward with reestablishing that trust and likability from the people of Alabama? You know, let me, let me say this. I make mistakes. Uh, even the most trusted person on earth makes mistakes. Uh, you know, that's, that's one of the great things uh, in my life that I, I feel that, that as a human being, I, I do make mistakes. But the most wonderful thing that I have that, that in my life is I truly believe that the God who loves me loves me even through the mistakes and he uses those and he uses even difficult times in our lives like I've, I've been going through and he's going to use those to make me better and to make other people around me better Governor, and so that's 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 how I look at it okay thank you Governor. Can you thank, you, thank you have you entertained the idea of stepping down no I have not thank you Governor. Governor, thank what is your wife file for divorce